Hi YouTube, my name is Heather and I love anti m one content here on YouTube. I'm hoping to use this channel as an excuse to sit on the floor and talk about the unethical practices of multi-level marketing companies. Today, I wanted us to listen to part of a Beachbody team call where an upline is telling her downline how to overcome objections from people either they don't know or they do know on the internet when they're trying to sell Beachbody products and services. So let's take a listen. What? It is too expensive. I gotta move you humans to the bottom or something. There we go. Um, does it move you guys on your screen too? No, okay. Just wondering. Um, so it is too expensive. So I'm sure you guys get this a lot and Angie and I have had thousands of conversations on this, right? Because people will be like, it's too expensive. But then you see them out at the bar or going to McDonald's every day or getting their caribou and Starbucks every day. And you just wish that you could be like, let me help you. Help me, help me, help me, help you, help me, right? And so, um, like one. A big thing beach body coaches like to do is question how you spend your money and they're going to often sit there and try to get you to justify it. Everyone has things that they like to buy but they don't actually need. What's yours? Mine is an ice cap from Tim Hortons. If I had someone either I knew or didn't know on the internet come at me and tell me that I shouldn't be spending money on ice caps and instead I need to buy a beach body, I tell them to go away, tell them to be quiet because it's no one's business other than my own how I spend my money. One thing I try to talk about is there's tons of options we can pick from to fit in your budget, right? I talk to a lot of girls who are college kids, a lot of people who maybe are on tight budgets. I think of moms, right? Like how many people had a baby and they're like, all oh, my money is wrapped up in like buying these diapers and wipes and stuff for my child. Um, I talk about our best packages. Yeah, so if you just had a child, you don't need to be spending money on workout programs. You can go into YouTube and click and type in any kind of workout you could imagine and you'll find tons and tons of free workouts for you. You could type in ab workouts, cardio, dance, step workouts, walking workouts. You can find anything you want on YouTube for free. There's the challenge pack, which is $160 for the total solution. But if money is tight, like if I'm already getting vibes that money is something that's an issue, I say like if money is tight, we can look at packages with just the workouts. Because to me, right? It's better for me to get someone signed up with even just a three month package than it is to lose a client altogether just because I want them to do a challenge pack so I get successful points. Because at the end of the day, I do appreciate that, that she's not just trying to get people to buy challenge packs, but instead she's trying to get them connected to beach body programs in whatever way that they're able to and meeting people with where they're at. So that is one thing I appreciate so far. We're not going to, um, we're not going to be able to get everyone, but I don't want to lose someone just because I didn't give them that option. The other thing is breaking down the cost. So I have done this, especially when we talked about MBF. Um, I think actually on that graphic, what I like is that it says like how much each individual thing is. So then you can say like Shakeology is usually $130 on its own. So right there, you're already doing most of your costs. And then a BOD group or a BOD um, membership is $99, right? So now you're already up to $230. And then your BOD rope, your nutrition programs. And I kind of like break it down on all the stuff they're getting. And then it's really hard for them to be like, oh wait, like I can't afford that, right? When you get all that goodness, it's hard for them to say no. I don't mind that strategy as a way to show people that they could be getting value. However, you're saving money on something that you don't actually need or things that you can find for much, much cheaper or for free elsewhere. Um, and then compare the cost to a gym membership. So I've talked about that before, right? Because people will be like, well, I have a gym membership here or I have, I don't know, or like, well, maybe I'll just go to the gym. It's, Again, a lot of people do not understand if we've never talked to them about the price of it, people think that Beachbody is hundreds of dollars a month. Like a lot of people will think the $160 is all the time. And so um, I've compared it, I think I do that with the healthy for the holidays because a lot of people, right, coming to January, a lot of people get gym memberships, a lot of people are looking for that change and I want them to know it's a heck of a lot cheaper to do it at home than it is to drive to a gym every day and pay the 
I know people who are paying $60 a month to go to the gym. Yes, it is technically cheaper to do a beach body than to go to the gym, but there's also a lot of value in the gym. You have access to dozens and dozens of different kinds of cardio machines and weight machines. If you want, you can take different classes. You can be connected to a trainer for an extra cost most of the time. I went to the gym until I broke my foot. And then once my foot healed, I started to work out at home and I just got into the convenience of that. However, I did not get connected to a very expensive online workout platform. I just found what I liked on YouTube. So what she's saying, what she's saying is true. Yes, it is cheaper than the gym, but the gym also has very, very significant value for a lot of value for people because they have access to all this different equipment. What do you think about that? Like just, and that's, they could use it one time or they could use it a hundred times and it's 60 bucks. So anyone have anything to add on it's too expensive? Okay. The next one I have is I don't have time. I get this one a lot. Like college kids are like, well, I'm so busy or like moms, right? Anyone is like, I don't have time to work out. Like it's just not something in my schedule and relate to that. We in this group here can all relate to not having time. And so it's really hard. I am someone who I think like, well, I can do it. And I have all these things on my plate. Why can't you? But I realize people function at different levels of stress. And so I just try to relate it to them, right? I talk about, I totally get it. I felt the same thing. I felt like there was no way I had time to work out, but I did morning meltdown 100, which is only 20 minutes. Do you know that our workouts, some of them are only 20 minutes or I say, you know, do you think you could fit in a 30 minute workout each day? And a lot of people realize like, oh yeah, like I probably could, right? A lot of people say they don't have time. And then you ask them when they wake up in the morning and they're like, well, I wake up at eight o'clock. And we all know people have the capability to wake up before 8 a.m. Like some of us are literally up for four hours <laughs> before 8 a.m., right? Like we could have half our workday in by 4 a.m. She just contradicted herself in that statement. So first she said, well, if I can do it with all I have on my plate, why can't you? However, people function at different levels. And she just is, in my opinion, shaming those who don't wake up early because she can wake up at 4 a.m. So why can't you? Who wants to wake up at 4 a.m. if they don't absolutely have to? Yes, people can wake up earlier than 8 a.m., but maybe they have a baby or a toddler who's not sleeping through the night. Maybe they have insomnia. Maybe they have mental health issues that's causing them to have trouble to sleep. Maybe they have a um, health condition where their hormones are off and you could sleep for 10 hours a day and you're still going to feel exhausted. I don't really appreciate whenever, whenever beach body coaches shame people for sleep like sleep's important we all need sleep so what do you think about that i'm probably just thinking too far into it also there's she just did the feel felt found method to relate to the person's objection so i totally understand how you feel i felt this way too because i was so busy but then i found using beach body programs that i could do abc so it's just a way to relate and validate the person's objection and then show how using beach body programs and products overcame their own struggle does that make sense or 8 a.m so um the other thing i've talked about is like our workouts are designed to be quick and dirty they're not meant to be drug out they're not meant to be hours they are meant for you to get in they're intense so that you get your work done in that time and then you're done Sorry, she's hitting the table a lot, so there's sounds in the background. Sorry about that. Um, I've also told them, like, the shorter a workout is, the more work it's going to be. Like, not work in a bad way, but, like, right, Morning Meltdown 100, T20, those programs are a heck of a lot more intense than, like, 80-day obsession where you're working out for 45 minutes and you have more breaks or, like, lift four, I feel like is kind of, um, like, you work – but you have a lot more breaks and stuff like that. Oh, look at that naked baby. Oh, so cute. And so. So she, she is right when she says that you don't need to work out for a long time to get results and you can do 20 minute workouts and make a lot of progress. Do you, does anyone watching do 20 minute workouts on YouTube? You can find hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands for free. My favorite's Cardio Party Mashup Fitness. She has lots that are 20 to 25 minutes and you'll burn like three or 400 calories in that time. Again, you can do this for free. You don't need to spend 
significant amounts of money on Beachbody to find short, effective workouts. Um, that's one I just try to mention, like 20 minute program, because a lot of people think you have to work out for like five hours to get results, which isn't true. It's not the right time. And so this actually is not my wording. Um, I found this as I was kind of just trying to take information in on objections. And I really liked how it was phrased. Like, I understand it being the right time, um, it not being the right time for you now. The thing is, if it is something you'd really like to do, then sometimes you've got to make time, make the time the right time. You know, no pressure. I'm going to be here. So when the timing is right for you, let me know. And I would love to help you. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help figure out a way to make this work right now. That is if you're ready. Because a lot of people, and I get people all the time, well, now's not a good time, you know, or like my life's too busy right now. But I don't think they realize, like, if it's something important to you, you're going to make a way for it to work. And so um, I just think that I really like, like, with any of the objections, I like that they acknowledge the objection. They talk about it. But then they also throw in there like, no pressure, I'm going to be here, but I want to make this work for you. And I kind of use this wording, I have a girl who's thinking about coaching, but she's on the fence, she started a new job, like kind of in a transition and says, you know, like, I don't know if now's the right time and I can handle it, like kind of the same thing. Like, if it is what it is, like, if this is what you want to do, you will make time for it. Okay. But I like, you know. I think this objection specifically is probably just a way for people online to let these beach body coaches down easily instead of just outright saying no, no thank you, I don't want to do this. I think if you do get approached by a beach body coach, it is the right thing just to say no, even though that's they're still going to put you on a follow up list saying something like it's not the right time. They're just going to keep bugging you online and until you block them, they're going to keep messaging you and keep following up. I do like here how she's not she's not pressuring you. She's not saying um, you need to do it right now or else you're not going to get your results. However, she, she is saying if it's a priority for you, you will make the time. In my opinion, that is guilting the person a little bit. But she's not, she's not realizing that it's not a priority for this person because they're saying no. It might be they already have a health and fitness routine that they're getting results and they're already going to the gym and they love it. They're already doing workouts that they really enjoy. Beachbody coaches tend to think that every single person on the internet is struggling with their health and fitness and needs Beachbody to lose weight. I lost 65 pounds and kept it off by finding YouTube workouts that I enjoyed and eating a little bit less and eating a little bit healthier. If anyone has lost weight doing just what I described and not doing any fancy expensive program, I'd love to hear what you did below because you do not need Beachbody to make progress with your fitness goals and to lose weight. Now, what can I do to help you make it work, right? Because maybe, again, the time thing. Some people say, you know, well, now's not the right time. I'm super busy. Well, maybe you come to find out they watch three episodes of Netflix a day and they consider that busy, right? Like, we all know the people who say they are super busy and then they binge watch Netflix for hours and you're like, well... Just because you have free time doesn't mean you're free. You don't know people's situations. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know if they have a stressful job and they need to binge watch Netflix at the end of the night to take care of their own mental health and well-being. I don't understand the trend among these beach body coaches where they're demonizing downtime, free time, self-care. This is from October 2020, so it was during the pandemic when she said that and especially during the pandemic we all need time to recuperate and recover from the stresses of everyday life and just because we have the time it does not mean we need to fill it by harassing people we know or don't know on the internet to buy our overpriced fitness programs and products priorities okay can i add something Brianna? yes i love it so I was listening to a podcast and this, this whole deal like on objections one time and I thought there was something really interesting that they talked about. Can you hear me normally? Yeah. Okay. Um, he was talking about how like, I think all this is great and I really like how you like, like they acknowledge it like you said, but one thing with objections that I've been trying to do is like, okay, without being weird, 
be like, you know, tell me more about that or like, oh, like what makes like your life so busy without sounding weird or mean, you know, because you could be like, I feel like you could be like, well, what makes your life busier than anyone else's? And I'm not trying to do that, but like help them think about it more to get, keep the conversation going because it's really easy to just get shut down. I feel like, like I've listened to different things about objections and it, it's like, okay, that's great. Those are things to say, but a lot of times they're just like, no, I don't have time. And like that, you're all gone. But I feel like if you throw it back on them and you're like, okay, well, like, why don't you have time or what's, what's going on in your life? You know? I love that, especially for that, like, explain to me, like, what is using your time, or, like, how do you spend your time, you know, and then you can have the conversation of, like, so if you were to pick one thing to take out of your life, what would you take out, right, because some people might be like, well, I wouldn't do, I would take out nothing, because I'm an adult, and I get to decide how I spend my time, this, or I would do that, right, and, um, maybe they don't have time, but you find out, yeah, that, you could wake up earlier, you could help them find a pocket they didn't realize was there. Can you imagine someone on the internet that you either know or don't know coming at you and making you justify how you spend your days just because you don't want to buy an overpriced fitness program? If someone, say if it was a person I knew in middle school came at me and I told them I don't have time, they said, well, tell me how you spend your day, I would tell them to go away. I would probably block them. I would probably say, I don't need to justify what I do to you. Beachbody coaches tend to think they have the right to question how people spend their money and how people spend their time. And not everyone wants to spend their, like the half hour of free time they have in a day exercising. What do you think about that? I think it's extremely toxic thinking that you have to spend all your free time exercising or in the case of the business, working your coaching business and trying to recruit other people. I like that. Okay. Um, this is one. Okay. Sorry. I gotta make you little, um, so that we can see you all. Um, this is something I'm sure you guys have got a ton, right? Shakeology is too expensive. Um, so it's really hard. Remember Shakeology is their superfood shake, their daily dose of dense nutrition. If you are not a coach, it is $130 per month. If you are a coach, it is $90. And that's why I put like to sum this all up, it's like for the best results, right? The total solution is with Shakeology. And so I have had a lot of my clients get really mad because they're not getting the results they want. But the hard part about that is half of it is because they refuse to use Shakeology because it's too expensive and they think it's just a protein shake, right? But you realize it's a lot more than a protein. You realize it replaces a meal. Um, it has more nutrients. And Angie and I have talked about this analogy a lot too. Um, I thought Shakeology was too expensive, and then I looked at the amount of money I spent on fast food, and I was literally, Shane and I, I think, um, were spending, like, $400 a month on fast food. Like, no joke, super expensive amount of money, super stupid amount of money on fast food. Um, and so I like how it says, like, honestly, I couldn't afford to not drink this if I wanted to reach my goals, because too often than not, we're people are wondering like why they're not getting the results they want, but they're not doing the programs designed the way. So like for the best results, we encourage you to use the workouts, drink the Shakeology and follow the meal plans. Right. Um, and I get it's expensive, but I have been trying to tell people like, well, write down your grocery bill, you know, or write down this and see where can you replace that. Okay, no, thank you. I'm not going to write down my grocery bill just so you can critique it and tell me what to cut out so I can buy your overpriced protein shake. She just said her and her husband or fiance, whatever, used to spend $400 a month on fast food. I don't think that's a normal amount for someone to spend. My fiance and I, we go get fast food once every one or two weeks. We probably spend less than 70, 50 to 70 dollars a month on fast food and it's more just a treat for us. You guys can't see it and I didn't really feel like I needed to show it because the faces are covering half of the text. But part of her script here and as a busy mama who very often found myself skipping meals during the day and binging at night, 
honestly, I could not afford to drink it if I wanted to stay healthy and reach my goals. So this woman's not a mother, but she's taking scripts from elsewhere. And I think this is, that quote is directly relating to moms who don't have time to sit down and make themselves a healthy meal, racing their kids around town, who don't actually have time for themselves. And it's preying on their desire to feel healthy again, to feel like they're fueling their body appropriately. And I think that's very predatory because a lot of moms, as I just said, don't have time to take care of themselves because they're worried about everyone else's needs. Um, I'm breastfeeding or I'm pregnant. These are two things I've gotten. And I always, always, always preface with talk to your doctor, right? Always, always, always talk to your doctor. Um, and I've had a lot of people who have told me like, I'm really glad you said that because I've never had someone tell me to talk to my doctor before. They just told me like, well, it's safe. Don't worry. And so they're like, actually you telling me to talk to my doctor made me trust you more because you weren't trying to pull a fast one over me. Like you legit were looking out for me. Um, and so I always say, well, always consult with your doctor because they're going to know what's best for you and your baby. But I have many challengers who use our products while pregnant and nursing. So I tell them to talk to their doc doctor before I sign them up. But I want them to also take comfort bringing it to their doctor, knowing that like I have had coaches who have used it. I've had challengers who used it and I've never had like even energized. I, you know, doctors have said, are healthy and now maybe it just depends on your doctor and if your doctor trusts it or not um but Jess do you have any input on that so well I do appreciate she says talk to your doctor first I don't like the end part where I've had many challenges use these products while pregnant and nursing I feel like someone who might be a little bit younger less experienced might see that and say oh well other people have done it so I can do it too I wish you had just said you need to talk to your doctor first and then if they okay it you can come back to me and I can sell you them. I wish you didn't add the last part in. I don't know because I don't know if you use products when you were pregnant at all or if McKinsey used any products when they were pregnant. I <laughs> I did use the energize. I didn't drink psychology at the time. I used the energize. I would be very interested to know if you did McKenzie because I did and I never checked with my doctor but I needed it to survive. Feed lot and early night bit mornings and late nights. So yeah, I did as well. But I never checked with my doctor either because there's not that much caffeine in Energize, and so and, it, and it's natural. I wasn't worried about it. My yeah. next pregnancy, I probably will ask. Sorry, the woman's baby is screaming in the background, but. On any pre-workout I've ever used, it says do not use while pregnant or breastfeeding. So if I ever get pregnant, I'm just going to get rid of pre-workout and not use it at all. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, please talk to your doctor before trying any new supplement or product. It's very, very important. You can find your caffeine in other ways that are more natural. Sorry, but pre-workout is never going to be completely natural because it's literally just a powder it's not a completely natural product so you do need to be careful so talk to your doctor before doing anything just because but and i know it all depends on your doctor and how familiar they are with like shake like with shakeology and stuff because i know girls who have checked with their doctors who tell them if they keep drinking their shakeology every day like they don't have to take a prenatal vitamin mm -hmm. i've been told that too well, like she replaces that and then, but then I have some people that their doctors don't want them to drink it. So I like, think it depends on your doctor. And I honestly feel like those are probably the ones that don't like really even take the time to look at it. They're just like, oh, it's like, you know, protein shake and don't mm -hmm. really like, want you to drink it. Because that is another thing, like with the objections, I think, for cost too. It's like, do you know how many vitamins are in it? Like that that you can talk to them about, you know, like, I don't even, I don't even take vitamins right now. I probably should, but I don't. A lot of beach body coaches talk about how nutritionally dense Shakeology is, but then the majority of them are not able to talk on why it is so nutritional and healthy for you. She just said, you know, how many vitamins are in it? I don't even take vitamins now, but she didn't actually tell us how many are in it. Majority of them can't back up their claim that it's so healthy and they just they just share anecdotes and they don't actually give proper evidence. 
And I don't appreciate someone who doesn't know anything about health that's not in the medical field and they're telling people that you can replace your vitamins with Shakeology. And it would even be more expensive too, using Shakeology instead of buying vitamins. Well, vitamins are expensive because when I tried to adult and take vitamins, I was spending a lot of money. I mean, Angie, you take vitamins every day, don't you? And they're expensive. I mean, I guess I only take like certain ones. Like I take coconut oil because it's helped me since I've had mono. And then I just take um, vitamin C because okay. vitamin C is really good for your immunity. And I'll probably take vitamin D because we don't get much sunlight. I don't know. They're not terrible, but I don't know. For me, I'm like, it's definitely worth the health. But I think the Shakeology helps too, 100%. So I never even thought about that, talking about like the, the vitamins in it are really good too. And you don't need to really. Yeah, because like last year, everybody in my house had influenza, and I, by the grace of God, I was pregnant, I never got it, but everybody else in my house had it, so it's like, was that the grace of God, was it Shakeology, was it, you know, like, because mm -hmm. I stuck at Red Room to take, like, my prenatals and stuff, like, since I thought I had COVID, my husband was like, you really need to start taking some zinc, and you really need to start taking vitamin C, and you really need to on the final. Uh -huh. I, feel like I need to take more vitamin C but that's what I've got a lot because people are like well I'm breastfeeding or you know stuff like that and I just have found good results in saying like talk to your doctor you know then talk to me and then I have pictures of the labels on my phone or I send them a link to it and they like I've literally had people email it to their doctor and that same day their doctor has emailed them back and been like yep that's fine and so I also like to, like, um, tell them with the UPF that Autumn does this, like, a special thing for if you're pregnant or breastfeeding um, to help with that because a lot of people also, like, with breastfeeding, I know it's always a concern of mine of, like, well, if I try to lose the baby weight, am I going to lose my milk supply? Mm -hmm. And if you're passionate about breastfeeding. Autumn Calabrese is a beach body super trainer, and she also has – various nutrition programs. However, she is not an educated, trained nutritionist or dietitian. So in my opinion, she has no business making nutrition programs and giving pregnant or breastfeeding women advice. I, a little bit, it's a little bit worrisome for me that this upline likes this conversation about how be, or Shakeology sorry, can replace your vitamins. These women are not trained medical professionals and I don't think they have the right to tell people that if they take their psychology, they don't have to buy vitamins. What's your opinion on that? I'd like to hear it. That's your worst fear, but where Autumn does a specific segment on just breastfeeding and like the more calories you should be eating and different things like that. That's awesome. Yep. I didn't even know that. So good information. <laughs> Love it. Okay. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. She's just going to go into more detail about how you, about if someone already has a beach body coach, telling us to not poach anybody, but to still encourage them to move over to her if they're not getting what they need. So she's saying don't poach people who already have a coach, but also poach them if it will benefit you. So I know this probably wasn't the most exciting video, but I did like her approach at overcoming objection because she does it very reasonably and rationally but if again if you dig a little bit deeper you'll see that some of what she's saying is problematic and women and men who are not trained in the medical field are not some kind of health professional should not be making claims about how Shakeology can replace your vitamins. The main thing that I hear the most often is the objection I don't have time and I don't have the money MLM coaches and beach body coaches love, love, love to question how you spend your time and your money, which they have no right to do. Nobody does except for your spouse or your partner. That's all I have today. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below and I'll see you next time. Thank you.